creme brulee. There are tons of recipe videos on YouTube about this and really I have nothing to add. A salted caramel creme brulee, however. Let me show you how to make it. First things first, preheat the oven to 325 degrees. Did you spend a semester abroad in Europe and won't shut the f up about it? The number you're looking for is 160 degrees Celsius. Eggs, when they're not being used as weapons against Islamophobic politicians, they're at the core of custard. Put six egg yolks in a medium sized bowl and give them a good whiskey until they lighten up in color. All right, set this aside. All right, once we're done pulverizing the chicken embryos, let's get to the cream. Add three cups of heavy cream to a medium sauce pot. Then add one 14 ounce can of Dulce de Leche. And set this over medium heat so it's easier to incorporate the Dulce de Leche. It's gonna take a while, be patient. All right, when the uh, Dulce de Leche is fully incorporated into the cream, and I really do mean fully incorporated, you don't see any specks of unincorporated caramel. Boost the heat to high. All right, the minute it starts boiling, turn off the heat, and we have to incorporate our cream with our eggs. But we can't just simply dump the cream into our eggs, not unless you want caramel flavored scrambled eggs. So we're gonna have to temper it. So just grab a ladle full of our cream, and while whisking, slowly drizzle it into our eggs. All right, okay, once they reach the same temperature as the cream, dump in the rest. Now using our soup ladle, let's pour in our custard into these little ceramicans. Fill them up to this little line right here. Huh, didn't have enough to fill this one. On the plus side, I just made caramel eggnog, so... Merry Christmas to me. Next, grab a baking pan lined with a kitchen towel. I'll explain why later. Place our ramekins inside. Then add enough water to come up halfway up the ceramicans. Oh, and uh, the kitchen towel, it's, it's to make sure the water doesn't splash in as we add the water. Stick our custard in our 325 degree oven and let them cook for 50 minutes. And once the timer goes off, take the pan out of the oven and put it on a heat-proof surface. Then, using a pair of tongs, transfer our ramekins to the fridge. And leave them in there for at least six hours. Oh, and uh, how do you like my oven mitts? Okay, it's been a couple hours. Now comes the fun part. Place about a teaspoon or two of sugar in the center, then hit it with a propane torch. And once the sugar turns molten, Begin rotating the ceramican. And that way the molten sugar can cover the entire surface. And while it's still molten, hit it with a nice big pinch of kosher salt. And once the sugar solidifies, it's ready to eat. And as long as you're responsible with the propane torch, you should be fine. If not, um, try to make it look like an electrical thing. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning it this time. <laughs>